This is Lauren Milne down at uh, Sunset Beach in Vancouver, Canada. I'm doing a review of the Sled Dog Snow Skates today. You can see here's a model in front of us. It's one of the top end models uh, from two years ago. Uh, it's got a green boot instead of a blue boot. It's actually a little bit more comfortable because it's more thick padding within the inner boot. So I recommend this model. Um, they range probably probably up to about $600 Canadian with taxes built in. You can buy used pairs probably on the market for a little over $200 Canadian. The, um, they're really a comfortable device for uh, up beyond snow. They're very similar to inline skating in terms of the movement or very similar to ice skating. So here's just a few of the skates from my quiver ranging from about a size 6 up to a size 12. Really highly recommend them. They're wonderful for learning how to be on snow for the first time. As you can see here, they have a simple little ski on the bottom with uh, metal edges, just like a set of skis. They also are very effective on ice, more so than standard skis, more so than standard snowboards. So they're really popular in Ontario, Quebec, uh, Norway, where they're from. They, um, they're very comfortable. You can be on them for quite a while and your, your feet feel great afterwards. They're really good for snow parks, short t runs, short chairlifts, uh, firm snow, icy snow. They're outstanding for that. No, they don't work very well in powder snow or deep snow. Uh, they sink away, so that's the time to switch your snowboard or your skis. But this is a great gadget to learn to ride on snow with initially. And uh, for those of us who are roller skaters or rollerbladers, there's a real transition or transfer of skills from the snow skates, or pardon me, from your roller skates and your rollerblades to the snow skates. Now, I'm just down here at Sunset Beach. I'll give you a little look. This is one of the best places to uh, rollerblade, roller skate in North America. And as you can see, we don't have any snow just yet, but we've got people out on scooters today, uh, playing roller hockey, uh, going along the seawall, the pathway that's nearby, on their bicycles, on their shoes, or on their ESS stuff. And, well, gee whiz, there's a movie being shot over here called uh, Radio Nowhere. They've uh, got all their staff out here at the craft services. And this is a really busy place. So here we got a bunch of tourists coming down to see the view at Sunset Beach. But I really recommend people look into these snow skates. Um, look on eBay if you want or Craigslist to see if you can find a cheap, inexpensive used pair. Uh, in fact, probably my fleet will be on sale reasonably uh, soon as well. But um, they're a great gadget. So I really do recommend them. They're comfortable. They're easy to use. They're easy to carry onto the hill. They uh, don't require a big cumbersome set of skis and bindings, additional costs. And you can carry them on a backpack so you don't have to buy a four-wheel drive and to get up the mountain to uh, ski and just jump on a bus and go up the hill. So I can't say anything negative about them uh, other than that they're not high performance in deep snow or powder. They're wonderful on ice. Um, if you can do tricks on your rollerblades or roller skates, you can transfer the tricks over. Um, if you look on YouTube Lauren Milne, I have a variety of lessons how to use them and uh, different trips I've done. I was in Spain representing uh, sled dogs use sled dog snow skates and the uh, snow skate instructors uh, program. I actually taught uh, instructors courses and I actually wrote the manual for teaching this. So if you look onto my website, you'll see the process we go through. You'll see some various beginner lessons I've got and some steep lessons for intermediates and some other little fancy tricks that are in the way, uh, done along the way. So do have a look at it. I used them in Korea. Korea is a really popular place to use them. I've used them in Spain at the indoor um, ski facility they have, or snow ski facility they have in Spain. We're a big hit there. I've been to China three times um, and I do do recommend them. So give them a try. Have a look at them and uh, especially if you live in one of the places with colder slopes and shorter slopes, I would recommend them for you.